Yeah. So. Hajia Bridget Aisha Lemo lived an exemplary life that is worthy of emulation. For those of us that worked with her, uh, we can say with all sense of responsibility that Hajia came at, as a good and uh, somebody who uh, was morally upright. And therefore, we learned a lot from her. We worked with her, we enjoyed our working with her. She was very, very hard working. Very hard working. Uh, she, 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 she was uh, a very good leader and she led IET administration in a way that everybody remaining after her will have a lot to say to the people that are coming behind. And Alhamdulillah, uh, we thank Allah for the life she lived. And uh, we pray Admata Allah SWT to grant her a general freedom for all she has done in the course of Allah as well as the humanity. And we pray that may Allah give us the ability to sustain all the good works, the good examples, all the good foundation she has laid. And may Allah give us also the wherewithal to be able to surpass her and build on whatever she has drawn in the interest of Islam the Muslim Ummah and Humanity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. It's a sad occasion for all of us here in New Horizons College for the passing away of our mother Hajia Aisha B. Lemu, um, who is the founder of the school, whose idea it was to establish this school for a particular reason. Um, Alhamdulillah for life well spent. Uh, we are all her proteges, her products. I think Haji actually moved to me was more than a boss or an, or an employer. She was like a mother to me and a friend. And we have many, many special memories that I will forever cherish. Um, everything I know about education, about running of schools, I think I have Haji actually to thank for who I am today is because of Haji actually she gave me opportunity. Um, to be what I am today, and I will forever be grateful for that. And her memory will, inshallah, live on forever in my heart. I'm really going to miss her. I'm going to meet her mentoring, her company. Uh, many of our teachers can attest to her qualities as a leader, um, the support she offered to staff, and the care, personal concern beyond the fact that you're an employee. I think what the school is today is a testimony to the foundation she laid. And she had one motto, one expectation from all of us, which is that she did not employ teachers to be average in this school. You have to be above average. And that's what we've tried to live up to. Inshallah, her legacy will live on through us on to the next generation of leaders of the school. Um, I think it is said that the ability of a leader is exemplified by how well the school or an institution organization does in the absence of that leader. For the past two or three years, she's not been here with us. We are managing the school to the best of our abilities and we've not done badly. But it's all attributed to her for the skills she imbibed in us and how she raised us and the challenge, challenges she set for us. You know, it's all because of her. And if we're excelling today, we have, can give no other thanks but to her. And then may Allah reward her in the best manner. May our meeting, inshallah, be with her next in our agenda for Tosi. For all the guests that have come, from near and far, and all the other well-wishers who called in. We want to say thank you to all our parents who called to show their concern and offer their condolences. May Allah reward you, may Allah bless you. And inshallah, we will not disappoint you even in the absence of Hajjah, especially to our parents. We say thank you for your support. Thank you for trusting in us by sending your children to us as a manner. And inshallah, the amana that even Hajjah gave us, we will try to uphold it to the best of our ability. May Allah continue to guide all of us. May our own end be good. May we die 
as Muslims, and we all are, but we all meet in a gender fit door. So thank you very much. Thank you. Zakula wa hai. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I first came in contact with Hajia in the later part of the year 1992. That year she had gone to the camp, the refugee camp in Oru, to see for said first hand information about how the refugees were you know, doing. At that time, she gave a first assistance to the most vulnerable people in the camp, that the old age people, women, and so on. But our priority at the time was education, offering scholarships to students who were already in school. And I think I remember right on spot, she took about 10 or more students directly onto IIT International Scholarship. Later, in the year 1993, I was invited to come and join IET to work in a bookshop, <coughs> waiting for admission. Alhamdulillah, 1994, I got, I got admitted at FUT, Federal University of Technology in Mina, where I studied microbiology and graduated in 2001. Then she then offered me a job in her office as a messenger. I was later promoted to becoming a PA to her when her former PA resigned and left. Since then, I've been with her till her demands on the 5th of January 2019. Um, that's, about, that's about, about 20 years, right? Mm -hmm. 20 years since I came in contact with her. And I have learned so much while with Hajia. She taught me how to be patient. She taught me generosity, the way she generous to other people. And most of all, she taught me financial literacy, where she personally be talking to me how to manage funds and how to, I can, and that's what today, Alhamdulillah, I'll be my own house, through her advice that I learned from her. So she has lived a fulfilled life. Alhamdulillah, may Allah have mercies on her. On her, may her soul rest in peace. Assalamu alaikum. I learned a lot. I see Ajia not only as my boss, but as a mother mm. and a mentor. Whom I found that she is always calm and uh, a kind person who shows caring and she doesn't hide her feelings about once once you are wrong she will correct you instantly but on a what can i can say in a in a, in a, a way that you will not feel offended and well i really miss her because for my Almost, I can say for almost 32 years now that I've been working with her, since I set aside for an office, I couldn't enjoy my own way of working like the way we work with her. Because one thing, she doesn't want fire brigade approach to her dreams. She will let you know anything she has to do in advance. The day she receives any, like uh, if she's to give a talk somewhere, the day she received that and promised them that she will be coming, that particular day she will let you know that talk. So, I have social assignments at so so day, so be prepared. You will not be carried away that you are not aware of over time or what you, whatever one may call it. And may our soul rest in perfect peace. I really miss her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Introduction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.